The module design pattern in JavaScript is one of the most used design patterns for keeping particular pieces of code independent from each other. Modules allow you to break up different parts of your code to make it easier to maintain and reason about. Also, modules can provide encapsulation which can protect properties and functions from being accessed from other parts of the code. Before JavaScript ES6, you would set up a module like this. You would um, declare this function, you would have the private variables or functions up here, and then you would return what you wanted your public variables or functions to be, and then it would just be immediately invoked right here. This is just a closure that returns an object. I'm not going to go into much detail about this because there is a new way to do it. With ES6, the module pattern can be accomplished using classes. This allows you to keep units of code cleanly separated and, and organized. So with ES6, our modules will look something like this. Now, the whole point of modules is that you're keeping code separated, usually in different files. So I don't have different files on here, but this is representing one file here, and this, uh, this down here, main.js, is representing another file. So let's look through this. We have a class, shopping data type, and we have a constructor. These are going to be the private properties. This.shopping list equals coffee, chicken, pizza. So we're creating an array that, that's a private array. Now we also have these public methods. Um, get shopping list. We're not going to return the actual array. It's actually going to return a string. Dot join is just going to return a string with all these items, with all the items in the array separated by a comma and a space. So you cannot have access to the actual array. And then we can also add an item, this, that function here. It's just going to push the item onto the array. So at the end of the file, we have to do this line, export default shopping data type. So that's just going to export this class so we can use it in a different file. At the beginning of the other file, we're going to put import shopping data type from lib slash module. That's just the directory and file name without the JS. And after we import that in, we can start using the file. So we can do something like and this would allow you to um, print the shopping list in the other file. So this is just a simple example of a module, but they can be pretty complex and just allow you to keep code independent from each other in different files. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Check the description for links and more information. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.